Hello everybody and welcome to Hamilton. We're jumping right in because that's what I do. It's been three weeks since my best friend disappeared. She went to Hamilton Forest with her boyfriend and nobody has heard from them since. It's because they're dead. Sorry. I hate to be the one to break it to you. They've been gone for three weeks. The police say they performed a search of the area and found nothing. They said that the further exploration was too dangerous and the risk to the search party was too great. I can't imagine how you must feel, the officer told me. His blank glaze failed to meet my eyes. But you can't go looking for them. When I woke up this morning, a moldy page was lying on my living room floor. A set of coordinates written, what I was written in what I immediately recognized as her handwriting. It's the dead of winter, but I don't care. I need to know what happened. I will find out what happened! My friends, you will... You will not have died in vain, cold, dead, and lonely in the mountains. I will find your carcasses and give you the peace you deserve. What's it? Oh. This looks like her backpack. I just got here. Uh-oh. I got stuck on her back there. I'm expecting something like Siren Head or the Siren Yeti or... You know... No rescue beyond this point. Are these her boots? Why would she have taken them off in this cold? Because she was eaten. And now I am stuck in the wilderness myself. Blood! Do I have a gun? Please tell me I bought a gun. I bought supplies. Something. Nope, oh, can't put the poster there. Her diary? It looks more or less intact. Maybe there's a clue inside. I got this really strange email today about this old place in Hamilton Forest. Apparently it's super haunted due to some crazy dark crap that happened three years ago. Not too sure if it's legit, so I'll bring Jake along just in case. Cops are always super strict about staying out of Hamilton, so who knows? Maybe something cool. The next page is torn. Her hiding handwriting is barely legible, shaky and spaced unevenly, like she was writing with her eyes closed. It's going to be a great... It's going to be great. A really strange haunted, sure if it's legit, but might be something cool. Bring Jake staying. The world has burned and the blood is everywhere! Caution too late. I'm pretty sure if I found a trail of blood, I would not go. Especially if I had no weapon or anything. However, you dark fiend of the abyss, I have come to banish you. Come to banish you from this world once and for all. Maybe not that close. Only one way to go. Question is, will I die? Oh. Almost assuredly will I die. Alone, cold in this dark place, no one ho knowing that I'm out here because I left and ventured into the forbidden. If 
part of me would be t terrified because this would be kind of terrifying. On the other hand, it would be so freaking cool, I think, to find like a... Upon entering the exclusion zone, individuals are immediately at risk. The evidence suggests that the chance of them being affected by the phenomenon is linked to their distance from what is currently thought to be the center most point of the exclusion zone. Satellite imagery shows that this area contains an as of yet unexplored cavern located within the eastern region of Hamilton Forest. All attempts to reach the cavern have been met with failure. Before I go down that way, I want to go look over here. This is actually kind of spooky and kind of cool. I wish there's a tad bit more lighting. But only a tad. Because obviously you don't want too bright. I'm giving this letter to you in confidence as I don't want to incite a panic, but this is urgent. The most re recent occurrence has forced us to reevaluate the estimated outermost perimeter of the exclusion zone. Assuming as we have been that the zone is a perfect circle, our new data suggests that the hum Hamilton Forest monitoring station lies within the bounds of the exclusion zone. I am forced to conclude that the only reason we have not yet been affected by the phenomenon is that the station lies so close to the edge that the probability of an event occurring is extremely low. Please be reminded that I cannot provide any lo information that indicates what the chances exactly are as we still do not know what potential triggers and have not been able to find any meaningful patterns or indicators which would inform us of an imminent event aside from proximity. I'm proposing an immediate evacuation under the guise of the writing stops abruptly. There's a Polaroid photo lying next to it. Oh! And I'm going to the center. Susie always was. Oh? <coughs> Susie always was a workaholic. You dark fiends of it. Honestly, so far this game is... Slightly fantastic, actually. The atmosphere is good. The lighting is good. It's dark, but not too dark kind of easy to na navigate but there's enough ways to go now it would be kind of cool if some of these places actually led somewhere but it does give you the feeling that this place is bigger and you've got just enough ambient noises to be creepy like chains other sounds groaning and I'm sure they're on some kind of timer, but it's so spread out that it makes it seem very natural. Like that right there. Oh god, it's her. When will I die? When will I die? Uh oh. No. No. I died. Didn't take long for the authorities to figure out where you had gone. Mysterious clues supposedly left by those who had perished in the exclusion zone had led many to meet the same fate. Rescue attempts were pointless. The police would say you perished in a car accident while searching for your friends. Your body burned beyond recognition. Your story ends here. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a fantastic, creepy little short story. I want you to make more.
please make more. I will play them all day long. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.